All right, so in this video, we're going to do a continuation of the last video. In the last video, uh, we pulled the uh, wiring for the bow light without removing the rub rail, which I thought was pretty cool. And in this video, we're going to start off where we left it at the last one, which is installing the bow light, getting it wired up. We're going to install the stern light, the anchor light, and we're going to use a little box that kind of resembles or mimics the original box that um, Boston Whaler used as a distribution point for the bow and the stern lights. Get it all wired up and tested. So let's go ahead and get that started. But before we do that, hit the button right here and subscribe, hit the bell button. All right, so we're down to the wire here. And what we're gonna do is we're actually going to solder this. There is not enough room in there for the, uh, for a crimp connector. There's barely enough room in there for the wire, so we're going to do the best we can with that. Keeping the heat shrink short, too, because it gets stiff when you shrink it. <laughs> this is 14 gauge. I really wish I'd gone with thinner wire. Give me the uh, black or the blue because we've established that's the ground. I'm going to set this here. Yeah. I'll let you do the honors while I hold it together. Okay. And we bench tested this, by the way. That is the uh, negative. Yeah, should bring the bench tester out here and test it to make sure it works. Yeah. Don't don't do those yet. Strip the other end. I'll bring the bench tester. Out. Bingo. We have Bingo. lights. This Go. might be a chill. Go ahead. It's not even lined up. Yeah, it is now. I moved it. All right, so we've got the bow light run. Um, stern lights mounted, kind of a weird angle, but that's what we got because this guy is not moving, he's frozen in there. I'm still going to work with it, the bulb works, the electricity, uh, the wiring is good. Now, I found something that's pretty neat. It's a little box. It's very similar to what the uh, Boston Whaler used originally, and I'm going to use that as a junction box, and I'll show you where in a minute, but before I do that, I'm going to show you the wire I'm going to run. This is triplex wire, so it's got uh, basically a ground and two hot leads, and one will be for the bow light and uh, the other one will be for the stern light. So let me show you what I was talking about. This little box is actually going to mount right here and I temporarily mounted the stanchion here because I wanted to make sure that I didn't put the box in in such a way that uh, would interfere with the stanchion or the stanchion would interfere with the box. So it's a pretty cool little box. Comes with a uh, two cable glands and then once you mount it with the screws in here 
it's got these uh, thumb screws that uh, that screw into place and uh, hold the top in place. So pretty neat. I'll put links to this uh, as well as any other things that we use in the, uh, in the description. So let me go ahead and get started. So before I mount this, so I'm going to mount the glands. Uh, one of them is going to go to the bottom. And I believe I'm going to do the other one on the side. So we need probably every bit of a half inch bit, I think. Yeah. All right, on to the fun part. I'm going to run this triplex wire from the back of the boat to the front of the boat. Anyway, I'm going to run this up to the console. Get the console connected up, and then we'll do our magic back here and get it uh, connected up back here. So, for those of you that saw the console panel video, if you haven't, here's a link to it here. What I did is I left two female bullet connectors marked anchor light, stern light, and belt light. So, now the key is just running that cable up to the console. It's already up here. Um, Getting it run nice and neatly and then terminating it with two bullet connectors male and um and the ground and we'll be done with this Do you see this wire guide here? This one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can get a few. Well, that one might be a challenge, but. If not, I'll do it from here. I mean, I can do it blind. Okay, that might be better. Because I can do more over this way, but that corner is kind of a, a reach. I said green with bow. Uh, I think so. Damn, the length was perfect. Was it? Yeah. There's gonna be some slack, but that's fine. You want a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna button this up right now, temporarily.
Yep, all right, that one's on there. Um, I'm gonna cut about that much off. Yeah. And we'll run about that much in there for the stern light. Now this, I'm just gonna run this wire temporarily because I ordered SAE wire with the SAE connectors so that we can connect and disconnect the stern light because this is not gonna stay here. I'm gonna end up changing that at some point. I'm not gonna crimp these, I'm gonna use wire nuts. Some of this. Oh, yeah, there's, and a, that's there's a lot of wire in here. All right, uh, green's gonna be bow. Right. I'm just gonna duct tape these temporarily until I get the, uh, the sticky mounts. Although this Gorilla Tape might be a mistake, I don't know. Ooh, I got electrical tape. I don't think electrical tape will hold the... Oh. So what I've done is I've used the uh, black Gorilla Tape just to hold it temporarily. Um, here's a view inside the box. I've used wire nuts to get everything in place. I'm not going to put the top on until we finish. And uh, I need to connect that wire up. Again, this is only temporary wire, so I'll go ahead and do that. Probably crimp it. I've got wire nuts. Oh, that wouldn't work really. Uh, Temporarily it would. Yeah. But they're too big, I think. Well, let's see. You know why not? For right now, this will work. I did want to point out that I replaced the original uh, Perco light with another Perco light. Um, the, other, <laughs> the original one was welded in there. I mean, it was just corrosion welded. So we we're finally able to separate it from the uh, brackets. We did keep the original brackets, thankfully, and um, got a nice new light. We do have an LED in here, though. Actually, we have LED lighting front and back, and um, I try to go to the LED with everything as, uh, as much as I can just to preserve battery life. All right, and now to test this all out. So let's go for it. I'm gonna do the bow light first. That looks great. Then the stern light. And lo and behold, that looks great as well. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit share and like, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that button right there, hit the bell button and you'll subscribe. Thanks for watching.